What's going on everybody on YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this episode, we are unboxing the April Z-Box. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, the Z-Box is a monthly subscription service. Um, basically, I purchased this service off of, if I remember correctly, I think it's Zavi.com, Z-A-V-V-I.com. And I want to say that this subscription service is right around that $25 a month price point. And this box actually comes from the UK. So as far as like shipping goes, it does take a little while for this box to get here. But usually after they ship it, I see it in about 10 days or so. But $25 bucks for a box that comes from the UK is not a terrible deal. And as you can see on the front of the box, it says, Z-Box is the mystery box made for geeks. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but basically what Z-Box has inside of it is a bunch of pop culture items. Basically, you're going to get stuff related to video games, movies, TV shows. You'll get things like t-shirts, hats, uh, Funko Pops, and other vinyl figures. You know, books, comic books, stuff like that. So if you do like pop culture items, especially like vinyl figures and t-shirts and stuff like that, this is definitely the box for you. And at less than $30 a month, this has a very good price point to it as well. Um, I've been getting this box for eight months or so. I don't know exactly. But if you look back through the channel, you'll see several unboxings of this. Overall, I do enjoy this box a lot. There has been a few boxes that have been a little bit of a miss. But for the most part, I do like these a lot. So I could really suggest this box, and I do recommend it. But yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's open up the April Z box and let's see what we got this month. Always really, really excited to open this and see what we got. The last couple months I did get exclusive vinyl figures in both of these boxes, uh, both of the previous two boxes. So we'll see if that keeps going. I do love vinyl figures, so I'm always up for that. All right, so let's cut the tape and let's see what we got in the April Z box. All right, so once we cut the tape, Open up the box, pull the flaps out. All right, so first up, we've got our t-shirt, so I'll pull that out first. Looks like we've got a black t-shirt. And I must say, that's like one of my favorite things about this box on a monthly basis, is they give you some really neat t-shirts in this box, and they're typically always licensed. So I'll try to show you guys the design first. So you once you pull the shirt out, hold this up so you guys can see it. All right, so what do we got here? All right, we got some Japanese or Chinese writing. But, you know, I kind of know that logo from anywhere, so it's Back to the Future, I'm pretty sure. So let's look at the tag. So, yeah, this is definitely Back to the Future. It is fully licensed, universal product. Um, show you guys the tag there. I mean, you know, I kind of would have rather it, you know, just said Back to the Future and you know, English or whatnot, but I love Back to the Future and I mean, it's different, right? It's not every day that you see something like that. So I do like it. I love black t-shirts and I definitely will wear this. So yeah, Back to the Future t-shirt to start out with. All right, so let's see what else we've got going on in here. I'll try to get the smaller things out of the way first. All right, so what do we got? We have a uh, Back to the Future pin set. So this is a limited edition um, giant pin badge. Uh, it's a numbered release. And basically the two pins, you have one that says Lone Pine Mall, um, the Twin Pines Mall. So basically that's like, you know, the scene where you first see the DeLorean or whatnot. And then you got a pin of the uh, DeLorean speeding away. So, I mean, I actually really, really like these pins. I'm a pretty big fan of uh, Back to the Future, and I'm also a pretty big fan of enamel pins, so I definitely will keep these. So it says that each pin is individually numbered, and it says they're limited to 9,995 worldwide. So, I mean, I'm not going to open this up to see what pins we got, but I am definitely keeping these. And like I said, big fan of Back to the Future, so really really liking this box so, uh, so far you got the uh, back to the future pins and the back to the future t-shirt 
All right, so we got some packing material stuff. We'll set that to the side. I think we've got two big items and that's it for this box. So let's go ahead and pull this out and see what this is. All right, so we have many 10 totes. Collect them all. So yeah, basically what this looks like is it looks like uh, miniature lunchbox type things. So that's really neat and something you don't see every single day. Um, it looks like basically these uh, like miniature uh, lunchboxes are based off of uh, Bethesda games. So how about let's go ahead and let's open this up and see what we got in this little box. Because whatever it is, I will keep it, so I don't mind opening it. So let's get our box cutter here and let's cut this and see what this looks like. Okay, so once you cut that plastic, let's see how you open this. Alright, let's see what mini um, tin tote we got. Alright, so we got the, uh, what is that, the Nuka Cola Girl? And it looks like this is actually the mystery one. So that's really cool. So I'll show you guys the uh, little... And like I said, this is 10, so that's really neat. So this is what the uh, back looks like. You know, I, obviously I'm a pretty big uh, video game fan, so this is definitely cool. And I'll, you know, I'll display this somewhere in the uh, game room. So let's open this up and let's look at what it looks like on the inside. So basically the inside is pretty empty, but it does come with this really cool uh, decal sticker. So yeah, I mean, you know, that's really, really neat. I actually like this and it's something you don't see every day in like a, a subscription box. So yeah, we've got the uh, Nuka Cola um, miniature lunch box. So yeah. Definitely happy with that. You know, overall, the first three items I pulled out of this box, I absolutely love them. All right, so the last thing in the box. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, so we've got another vinyl figure, guys. And this is a Cryptozoic figure. It's DC, and it's Harley Quinn. So first of all, I do like DC Comics. I'm a pretty big comic fan in general. Um, and I really like this because this basically looks like it's Harley Quinn from the uh, Batman cartoon TV series from back in 1992. And I don't know if you guys watched that, but that was a fantastic cartoon back in the day. Um, a lot of people still really, really like that cartoon to this day. It was very critically acclaimed. But it, it was basically like an a afternoon cartoon that you would watch after school. But it did have a dark undertone to it. But yeah, so that's really neat. I really like Harley Quinn. And like I stated at the beginning of this video, I do like vinyl figures a lot. So that is really, really cool, and I am happy to get this. So this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So yeah, we've got the... And it's a right large vinyl figure, too, as well. So yeah, cool vinyl figure. So let's check the box, and let's see if that's it. So yeah, that is all. Nothing else in the box. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's uh, do a recap real quick and let's put some value on these items and see how we made out. Now keep in mind, like I said before, this is roughly $25 a month, give or take a few bucks. Um, so first up, we had our officially licensed Back to the Future t-shirt. I must say, I, I really love this. Like I said, it's a little bit different because it doesn't say what it is in English, but that's kind of cool and I will definitely be wearing this. I have no problem giving this shirt 15 bucks. So we'll go $15 to start out with. The limited edition pin set. You know, these are really, really neat. I really don't have a problem with giving each of these pins $4, so we'll do eight bucks for the pair. So 10 and eight is 18. So these little um, miniature uh, lunchbox, ten, lunchbox tins, I really like this too. Um, you know, just something you don't see every day. So I definitely can value this. And it will be a cool little display piece in the um, game room. I'll give this another $8. So 18 and 8 is what? Uh, 26. So we're basically at $26 now. 
And last but not least, we've got this Harley Quinn um, big old uh, vinyl figure. You know, I don't have no problem giving this 15 bucks. Um, it could be a little bit more than that, maybe a little bit less, but 15 is probably where I'm comfortable at. So what, we were at 26 and 15. So 26 and 10 is 36, and 36 and 5 is like 41. So basically, according to my pricing, we're at about $41 in value. And, you know, like I said, I paid about $24 for the box. So you get really good value in return for what you actually pay. So as far as that goes, we did really well in this box. And, you know, the other way that I grade these boxes is do I like the items? You know, I really did. I mean, not only did I like the items, but I like the franchises they came from. You know, the Nuka cola uh, lunchbox is awesome. I love DC Comics Harley Quinn, especially that version of Harley Quinn. And Back to the Future is an iconic movie series. Who, I mean, who doesn't like that stuff? But yeah, guys, so according to my grades, I have no problem giving this box an A grade because you got good value and I really like the stuff that you got in the box. And like I said, you know, so once again, I just really enjoy this box every single month and I do highly recommend this box if you guys do like pop culture items and you like mystery boxes in general. But let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. Did you feel like this box was worth $24? Let me know what your favorite item was in the box. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this. But guys, I think, uh, you know, I just want to thank you so much for watching this episode of GBA. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would help the channel out immensely, and I would appreciate it. If you guys know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to add some subscribers to channels, so any way you guys could help, that would be great. But guys, I think I'm probably going to end the video here. I'm going to try to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.